What's up guys, it's TJ aka Fishing with Yak Pack and in today's adventure we are doing a spontaneous hot drop. So basically what's going on right now is I was literally just sitting around, I was working on a video and I was like, you know what, it was supposed to be pouring down rain all day today. And it's it rained this morning, it poured this morning, but it really didn't like, it's not raining right now. So not to say, I got my rain jacket just in case it does start dumping on me when I get out there, but uh, I, I, why waste a day? Why waste a day? If, if I, you know, if I sit in the house all the rest of the day, I, you know, I've got four hours, four and a half hours of daylight left. If I sit in the house for the next four hours, I would have wished that I had went fishing, but you know, who knows if I get out here and go fishing, maybe it'll pour down rain on me the whole time. I don't know. Either way, I don't care. I'm going fishing regardless. It doesn't matter to me. I found a new spot the other night. It was like three o'clock in the morning. I was taking a break from editing the video. And I decided, I was like, you know what? Let me just scroll Google Maps real quick, look for some new spots. And I actually found something that was, uh, looks to be pretty freaking sauced. So that is exactly where we are going right now. We've got the kayak. Well, I have no idea what to expect. I don't even know if there's fish in this place. Like no clue whatsoever. I'm just going there, putting the kayak in and, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna send it today. Full on send, full on hot drop send. So. We'll see if it pays off. Anyways, I'm gonna stop right here at the store really quick, get me a water and an energy drink, and then uh, we'll be out on the water here shortly. So ladies and gents, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on, and leave a fat thumbs up on this video if you enjoy, and uh, I will see you guys. See you guys on the water. Put these bad boys on. Let me just tell y'all, we are hot dropping today. See that? There's water way over there. We gotta get everything ready right here in this parking lot. And then we're going over there. This is like probably the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate hot drop. So we gotta get everything ready. We gotta get everything ready before we even get over there. <clears throat> You guys are not gonna believe this. This is crazy. Yeah, I was trying to be cool, man, but they're saying the owner's not there and he's not permitting it. So. Yeah, that's yeah, sorry, Bobby. He posted that there because everybody was coming in like in and out like they owned the place. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I understand that 100%. Yeah, that's, that's, I, it's not an issue. I, uh, Completely understand. It's not not Sorry a big deal. That. No, it, I mean, it's if it, if it was if it was my area. Yeah, yeah, no I doubt. Have authority to tell you, but it's really not. Yeah, I mean, no doubt. And that's that's kind of that's kind of what I figured out when I saw these on. I actually found it on Google Maps. Yeah. And when I saw it, I was like, uh, you know, I don't want to just pull down here, back down, and just dump yeah. it off because that's you know, I mean, that's like this is yard, you know, yeah, that's yeah. trespassing. So, and I'm not about that. I'm yeah. I don't like doing all that stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, right. you're not from the area. You you might want to like drop your stuff off right here. There's a there's an entry like to the uh to the to the to the actual lake there's like a main if you go down this hang on let me see i'm gonna we'll, i'm gonna pull it up on the map you just see you just, just drive down you're gonna see the big lake and then you can just park across the street at the Publix. and i mean bring oh the stuff Publix down. is right there yeah bring your stuff down over there and then i mean uh where's the Publix. so basically yeah right there right across that's okay Publix, or right across so if i pull, if i pull it on the side real quick right you, here you might be all right if it, i mean i don't think it's gonna mess with you i don't guess yeah i don't I mean, you let them know what you're, tell, tell them the same story you yeah. told me. The only one that can tell, at that point tell you something is a cop. Yeah, yeah. And I, I mean, you know, I don't think they'll really mess with me. No, I, I mean, I don't, and it's like, I don't even like to. No, no, I like, get it, yeah. I get it, yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, it's, it, it's you more, when I, when I, when I, when I tell people that, you know, cause I understand the fact that like, you know, 16, 17 year olds, they'll just come do what yeah, they want. Yeah, but like, yeah. I'm 30 years old. I've been yeah, in the army yeah. for 11 years. I've been yeah. to Iraq. Like then it's kind of a different level yeah, of, yeah. okay, this guy's not yeah, going to go yeah. out there He's and mess gonna, everything yeah, up, exactly. you know? Yeah. No, it's and I mean, okay. not that you're, you're taking advantage of it, but yeah. see, I work for the county. So whenever okay. I run into any trouble, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Hey, you know, oh, of course. and it's not because I want extra exactly. special treatment. Exactly. You know that I've already, you already know. been vetted. Yep. Exactly. You know, I'm not a troublesome exactly. guy. I'm not exactly. Exact, same same exact thing. So, same yeah, exact I, thing. I got, I was, uh, I was fishing a, uh, a golf course a couple weeks ago in um, Sunrise and the police came up and, you know, we got to talking and just by the way he was talking, I was like, 
your prior service, huh? He's yeah. like, yeah, I was in the Marine for eight years. I was like, oh, I've been in the Army for, for 11. And that completely changed yeah. the what are you doing yeah, exactly, to it completely exactly, changed exactly. it. Yeah. If you can use that to your advantage to change Absolutely, yeah, you absolutely. Know, a conversation. And, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I'll try to pull right here and then I'll, you know, I'll dump my stuff right there and then just pull over to Publix then. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. All right, well, I appreciate it anyways. Right, I understand right, completely. All right, sorry about that. It's no problem at all. Okay, so hot drop one, unsuccessful. But what we are doing now, we are going to, we're gonna, we're gonna do this guys. We will make this happen. We will make it happen, okay? So we got permission from one guy and then the the like property owner like came up and uh gave us like unpermission he like unpermissioned us real quick which was kind of uh kind of savage of him to do so now he said go try right here Hey there. I have a question. Can I, is it okay if I park right here on the side and fish in the lake with my kayak? No English? Um, one second. Google Translate. Puedo. Can I show you this? Is it, uh, I'm, I'm gonna try. Is, uh, Spanish? No. Espanol? Oh. This right here. No, toma, 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 tele, toma. Habla con ella. Hello? Hey, uh, I was just wondering, I just pulled up right here and I, I wanted to ask permission. Okay, can I, is that, is that, um, yeah, I, so, dang, okay. No, I'm, I'll, I'll go somewhere else then, yeah. Okay, well, this has been, bye. This has been a little more difficult than anticipated. So far, what has happened is I pulled off to ask two people. One guy said no at first. I mentioned to him that I was in the army, I'm 30 years old, and I'm not trying to cause any trouble. Then he said, yep, you're good, park on the side. Well, an older couple that like the homeowners play a really weird thing really weird story um so they pulled up and said we usually wouldn't mind but our neighbor just put the no trespassing sign up so we'd rather you not cool respected no no problem whatsoever now i just pulled up to another another house i saw somebody sitting outside and it was an elder, uh, elderly Spanish lady. And she was talking on the phone to uh, what I assumed was her daughter. So she didn't speak any English. Got on the phone with her. She handed me the phone. I talked to her daughter. Her daughter said, you know, normally, you know, we don't care either. But there's a lady at the corner house that she's a Karen, basically. She, the, 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 <laughs> the girl on the phone really was like, she's a Karen. So I was like, okay, well, you know, I'll, I'll go find somewhere else. So what we're going to do is go to the next little lake. Sorry about that, bud. You got two lanes, though. Good thing we got two lanes. Um luckily luckily uh there's two lakes right here so we're gonna try the second lake and uh in hopes of just dropping it in because that place was a lot more narrow and tighter than i thought it was gonna be there's a little tight squeeze in there so i don't want to if i was gonna be out of people's way not an issue but where i would have to park my truck probably gonna be in somebody's way uh, so i just want to make sure that we are not in anybody's way first but good sign though because he did say there were peacock bass in there and bass large large amount so uh that's that's a good it's always a plus now we just need to get in the water all right well i think we uh i think we're gonna be good to go right here no pets Oh yeah, we're we're gonna be. 
you pee pet the box? Okay, there's fish. Definitely just saw one swimming. We're good. We're launching here. Oh my god, and he ate it on the freaking drop. Are you filming the deal? What's that? You're filming it? No. Oh, yeah, so I, I see you have the GoPro on here. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's, I ain't even on right now. I just turned it off. But uh, it's for like, basically, when I catch a fish, I can look back and see how I did and what I did to make me a better fisherman. But they don't want to eat, so. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> that'll do it. That'll do it. That'll do it. That will do it. Oh yeah, that'll get him fired up. Let's go, baby. We're hooked up. We're hooked. Alright guys, we're going to talk about this. Brand new, you guys just saw me take it out of the pack. VMC Marabou Jig, trash. Literally just meant the hook out. Okay. We're going to give them that homemade yak pack concoction right here. There we go. There we go. There we go. No! God dog, bro. What is going on with these hooks? I just had a freaking giant, a giant large mouth. Oh man. I love. Oh, well, all right, that's dope. Oh my gosh, guys. Well, rookie mistake, check this out. As I'm trying to take a picture of this fish, I'm holding it in the water, obviously, so it can freaking breathe. And it gets away. Today has been a day, guys. Today has been a day. All right, we are here. Now it's uh, now let's go get wet. Ooh. You know one really awesome thing about fishing in the rain, when you get soaking wet, you can uh, pee in your pants. Yep, you don't have to worry about stopping the kayak or the boat. You just pee as you go, pee and fish. Off we go. Baby. Easy as that. Oh, there we go. Well, that was uh unexpected. <laughs> All right.
that was uh, unexpected. But he hit the top water. That's what I wanted him to hit. Here we go, baby. First fish of the day comes on the little Z2 fluke, burning it across the top. But we're after uh, we're after bigger fish today. We don't necessarily want to play with the little guys. All right, man. Thanks. Uh, thanks for the top water bite. Let's see what we're cooking with. Swimwear, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so the plan for today is to do what we can do to figure this place out. Like, I have no uh, depth perception here. I, it could be two feet deep, it could be 200 feet deep. I have no idea whatsoever. Uh, but what I'm going to do is work my way around. I've got, I'm going to use a top water bait. <clears throat> I'm going to use a top water bait. I'm going to use a, uh, like a curly tail worm. And then I'll also be using, uh, like some soft plastic swim baits. So let's just see. <clears throat> Let me get something to First fish. Oh no, I watched him. I watched him eat it. I didn't even think he ate it. Holy moly. Wow. Not even kidding. Really did not even think he ate this thing. Look at this fish. I ain't even barely. Look at this thing. Hold up. This fish. This fish ain't even barely just bigger than this fluke. Not really, uh. This fish ain't even barely bigger than this fluke. Look at this. Not really what we're after. Thanks though. Skunks off the boat. <laughs> 